welcome back. Today I'm going to paint a palm tree. This is an 11 by 14 uh, canvas panel by Fredericks. And I'm going to um, paint the background, um, paint the sky using Prussian blue, golden fluid acrylics, and white craft paint. And there's a very good possibility that I'll need to give this two layers, but we will see. Um, I used this brush earlier. It's just, it's got the same paint on it because I, I started this tutorial on paper and it was soaking up the paint too fast. I couldn't make it work. So um, this is, this brush is a mop brush and it just has these paints in it already. So nothing special about it. But since this blue is super transparent, and but I am adding white, I, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to need um, to give it a second layer. It's possible. I don't know. Grabbing some blue and white. And then I'll add, just keep adding more white as I move down. That may be too dark. I don't know. Hey, psst, stop. Bro, psst. quit. I can't right now. I'm blending. I'm going to grab another brush just for the white because that is like real, real dark. Even while adding the white. Now I'm going to take a clean and dry mop brush and blend. And I'm going to start down here in the lightest color. I'm going to swirl, swirl. Nope. Psst, psst. Dude, go get out of the way. I can't like, I can't blend. You're going to, you're going to make me run out of time. Wipe off my brush. Dude, go. And then I'm going to sweep with the same brush because I don't want it to just be solid white down here. Uh, I could switch to a clean brush again at this point to keep that really light down there. But I wanted a little more blue. I, at first it was too blue, then it was too white. So yeah, I'm just going to sweep back and forth, removing any of the brush strokes. And, um, Mato even went a little too blue again, or not too blue, but too, yeah, too blue. Back with the white again. And I'm just gonna try to find a balance here between a very light blue at the horizon. And my paint is a drying. with my mop brush just gonna make sure I don't oh my god there's my cat he's sticking his paw out trying to grab my brush as it goes by Whew, he does this at the worst times <clears throat> all right there's a nice blended sky <clears throat> And this is not an ideal color for sand, but I'm going to use it just because I'm not trying to make this background a super big, complicated thing. It's craft paint, and it's called Mocha. And I'm going to mix it with some white. And I'm just going to make it look like a little bit of sand. I'm not going to like try to add any water like ocean water or anything. I'm just trying to make a, a little, a little place for the palm tree to sit 
Now this white and blue here is still wet, so I'm just blending that mocha or the sand color right into that blue and white background. Um, less white as I get closer to the foreground with the mocha. And maybe a little bit of brown. This is all craft paint acrylic. Maybe a little bit of brown while this is still wet. To even, to darken up the, the, the foreground even just a little bit more. Again, I'm not trying to make this like this. This is just some somewhere for the palm tree to sit. I'm not trying to make it look like, you know, like super great. It's just. I think I'm going to mess it up a little bit. Give some movement in this sand all the paint's still wet i'm just wiggling my brush around a little bit and i'll grab another brush and just kind of sweep that out just so the sand isn't like you know, perfectly smooth. It can be if you want it to be. I just, I don't know. Just trying to give it a little bit of something, something. All right, that's good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuss with it too much. <clears throat> Even though I keep grabbing more brushes and blending. <laughs> I don't want this to be too complicated. And then I just keep right on making it more and more complicated. All right. I'm going to quit because it's fine. Dry this off. All right. So I've sketched in where I want my palm tree to go and I'm going to go back to my brown craft paint and I'm going to block in some of the tree direction but <laughs> oh my goodness buddy all right so for the palm tree I mean for the leaves I'm gonna use black craft paint and yellow to make green all right so I'm gonna try this fan brush it's a number two it's bristle I'm gonna start with a really dark green and if that does not work I'll just go with black underneath so I'm gonna come in here kind of follow along where I oh my gosh dude come on just gonna follow along where I sketched in 
my tree or the leaves or whatever. So all I'm doing is I'm holding my brush at the same angle as this branch and along the way down I'm dragging out this way. So I get some of those hanging parts. Sorry, I don't know the technical term. <clears throat> like that. And same thing over here. Just start around that top edge just like real light pressure at the end so that it kind of just fades out. I think this dark green will be fine for the uh, shadow. Sometimes I use a black but I think this green will be fine just because this tree these trees are pretty light they're not like super dark green so I wanted to make sure I kept it light enough let's do a little something something right there <clears throat> I have I've maybe painted palm trees like this may only be like the third time I've ever painted one it's, it's not something that I paint very often So I'm kind of learning here as well. I've got a picture of one pulled up. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> and I'll just extend a, a couple of those here and there. Again, go across the top part of that branch. Fill that in. And then just extend it out and then extend the very end there. That's a that's a difficult angle with this big fan brush. I wish I had not drawn that little line. I don't know if I can erase it or not without messing everything up. I'm just mixing my color as I go, sorry. When I move my plate back here, for some reason, the light gets really weird. Um, I can't get rid of that line there, so I'm just gonna put another little extra one right there. Oh gosh. It was easier to do it at this angle. Probably because I'm right handed, maybe, I don't know. That's a big one right there. It's 
so again, I'm just following along the shape and I'm just going like this. And extending it out more at the end. Like just making it longer as I come down this direction. And then you can come back in and like spruce it up a little bit if you want. Make some of them a little bit longer. But I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think there may need to be one more right here though. Because it's looking a little odd. I don't want it to go the same path as my tree trunk, but it's going to have to be a little bit. I like it. I think it looks pretty good already. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the tree trunk. Uh, so that I can paint the leaves in front of it. So how do I want to do this tree trunk? Uh, this is just a small flat bristle brush. Mm, I think chestnut might be a good color for this. Some of the chestnut and I'm about out of the brown so I'm going to start with the darkest colors and then move up to the highlights. So I'm going to do some chestnut and some brown. And I'm just going to tap. Well, I guess for the, for the dark part here, I don't need to really tap. I can just kind of fill it in again. It was looking real, uh, like I can see canvas through it so it wasn't solid. And I'm just going to wipe off my brush. I'm not going to wash it or anything. I'm going to come in with my chestnut. And it looks like there's like some lines on the tree trunk. Probably gonna have to go another color lighter on this. You know, I could have used that tape method. <clears throat> oh man, that would have been great. I wonder if it's too late. I think my tree trunk would be too big if I did that now. Mm. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'll try it. So this is the, the tape method that kind of went viral on TikTok that lots of people got upset about because I was using painter's tape. Imagine that, paint, a painter using painter's tape. I know it's, it's horrible to think about, but <laughs> lots of people got, got really upset about it. I'm gonna see if this will work. I don't know. I'm gonna go just barely outside of the tree. Cause I don't I don't want this tree to get super fat. These tree trunks are fairly skinny. I'm gonna try to line it back up. Um, this just makes your tree painting process quite a bit easier. This is not normally how I would have done this, but I'm not going to paint my background again. 
I'm not going to do all that. Man, I'm going to I'm going to cut that off right there because I don't have the right angle. Town. Make sure I got these edges pushed down really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot. I don't know. Let's do black and brown again. Sorry, I'm kind of backtracking here, but I'll do the darker color on this side. Then I'll come in with some chestnut for this side. And just kind of blend those together. And uh, darker up here because it's underneath all of the, it's going to be like underneath and behind all of the leaves. Oh, I lost my brush, I got a little bit too much paint on there. Um, this just makes all of it quite a bit easier and I'll show you why especially when you start to add like if your, your tree trunk has like lines or something in it like a birch tree I have a full tutorial on just this tree method uh, for like using tape and stuff It's in my single subject tutorial playlist. Uh, that may be a little bit too light, I don't know. Also, I don't think that brush is gonna work. <clears throat> I'm sure I could have finished this tree trunk without the tape. I just kinda wanted to see if it was gonna work. So I'm mixing some of that mocha, which is the sand color and some chestnut, and I'm going to see what happens. Uh, it's looking a little scratchy, like I can see canvas texture through it, so I'm going to add some water. Oof. <clears throat> Grab some brown, do the same thing. So this is why the tape helps. See, I don't have to worry about like stopping right along the edge and going outside of the tree trunk, like going outside of the edge of the tree trunk. I can just, I can just do this real loosely and I'm not worried about messing up my shape. <clears throat> we'll grab a little black because it looks like there's some also some of these little thingies like darker spots I'm super afraid though that my tree trunk is too fat at this point because I painted it and then I put tape around it so it may end up being too fat. Back with a little bit of black. <clears throat> and I'm just going to tap right over top of everything I've already painted with this little mop brush. And add some more shadow. And I don't know. Let's see what we get. Let's see what happens. Oh, I've pulled up my paint. Oof paint off my green. So there we go. Easy peasy tree. I gotta touch up my green because my tape just peeled it off of my canvas. Because my um, paint wasn't dry enough when I did that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more black 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that like these parts of the branches are dark so that when I start to add highlight to it all it'll look they'll look like the branches are coming in like this like there it'll be darker in here so they'll look like they're like uh, coming out if that makes sense I hope that makes sense All right, now I'm gonna add some highlights to this, to this tree and should be about finished. Not a lot to it, as long as you get the shape. Shouldn't be super complicated, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know, it may end up looking awful. <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go around this part. And I'm just gonna start dragging my highlight. And try my best not to cover up all of my shadow. I'm actually gonna start out here, I think. That way I don't have so much highlight here in, the, in this part. really trying not to cover up all of my shadow. I can come back and touch it up if I need to, but I'm going to try not to have to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush because I see like canvas texture in there and I don't, I don't want that. The water will help with that. Ooh, that one's light. This is the one that's kind of like super weird angle and it was hard to to do with this brush. Oof.
palm trees are definitely interesting to paint. I don't, I don't know why I don't ever really paint them. I don't ever really paint like beachy type scenes. So I just don't, I don't know. Back in with a little bit more black this time, but still with the yellow too. So it's still gonna be green, just a real dark green. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna try to make sure I keep some of this area in here darker. Yeah, I'll just add a little more dark here and there because like this one it just basically turned solid green on me I don't want that so I'm gonna come back in and add a little bit of shadow I tend to overdo it a lot I get carried away with my highlights and I lose all the shadow happens to the best of them. <clears throat> I think that looks pretty neat. Like it's had a haircut and it's just got thinned. I have to have my hair thinned constantly when I get it cut because uh, I have super thick hair. And that's what that reminds me of. So, maybe, I don't know if adding a little bit of white to this would be a good idea, but I'm just going to do a couple more just to give it more dimension. Mm -mm. Just to kind of bring out the really uh, bright areas like where the sun's hitting it the most oh my gosh that is crazy light up there <clears throat> I'm not sure this brush was the best idea but I'm going with it It's happening. I'm doing it. <laughs> and then maybe down here you could add oh my gosh you could do a little more with your highlight and shadow in the sand just to add some more depth in your sand, like so it just doesn't look flat or whatever. And then maybe like come up on the tree trunk a little bit. <clears throat> this is just a flat brush from the Deco Clarity set. You know, you can go as far with this that you want. But the sand and stuff doesn't have to be as simple looking as mine. I just, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on the sand and stuff. That wasn't my, wasn't really my goal here.
All right, um, that's about all I got. Hopefully this uh, palm tree looks like a palm tree to you guys. Uh, again, disclaimer, I've maybe painted one or two palm trees in my whole life, so <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, give that like button a tap and please consider subscribing. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload content almost daily. Thank you for watching.